Okay, so we have the Barnes and Nobles e-reader app with us here, and there's the home page or the library, and I can see we have the 13 preloaded e-books which we can download, uh, and also by clicking here, get a complete synopsis of the book, and you can directly go to read now, which opens up the book. Um, let's go back so let me just run you through the features of the e-reader application now let's open up Dracula so it's reading this book and as you can see it has a completely different look blue colored page with red text well I can actually customize it uh, I'll show you how so I just tap here on the small a button here and I have this one option use publisher settings I turn it on and just give it some time and it goes back to the original settings I turn it off it goes back to the blue thing which I had now go to view themes I have a bunch of themes here I can select from uh, let's select Earl Grey, give it some time and it will change. Alright. And the cool thing is that I can actually customize these th these themes. So I'll show that. Okay. So, give you themes of okay, no. uh, okay. So as you can see is this is a slider to adjust the brightness of the color I'm changing the text color here let's make it a bit green uh, let's make the page a bit reddish but dark a little bit brighter and the same goes with the highlights and the links so I can also save this theme but I don't uh, I don't really like the same theme so I'm not going to save it uh, what I really like about this app is I can select text, I can highlight text and directly run a Google query. Now, now I have this uh, sentence here. I think you can, uh, let's see whether you can see it. Uh, France declare war on Russia. Britain and France declare war on Russia ok so I just hold it down select the sentence and a pop up comes up and as you can see I have an option to do a google search or a wikipedia search so let me tap google and look up in google and it opens up in the safari browser sad thing you get lost from the app you need to go back and open up the app and now if I want to add a bookmark uh, <laughs> there is a plus sign here just tap it and that's a bookmark I've done I can directly browse through my bookmarks go to bookmarks here are the different bookmarks for this book I can directly jump to any of them. Uh, I can also browse through chapters uh, from the go to menu uh, or important events in the book and the notes and highlights which I have done. So this is a note I had previously done for chapter 1. You see there is a pop up and it says chapter 1 in description. So let's delete this note. I don't need it anymore. So, that's it for the Barnes and Nobles app. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Rate, comment and subscribe.